Hey there, my name is Adam Keller and I'm a developer advocate on the container services team here at AWS. In this short demo, we're gonna walk through how to set the ephemeral storage size of our Fargate tasks in Amazon ECS. So I wanna start with a little bit of why we're doing this. Um, when we talk in the context of deploying AWS Fargate, we often refer to it as running your containers in a serverless manner. This is because the host that the container runs on is fully managed by AWS. By running on AWS Fargate, customers can focus on their containers and their applications and avoid the headache of capacity management, patching, managing instances, doing instance rotation, et cetera, et cetera. Due to the nature of the underlying host being fully managed, the user is unable to do just anything they want at the host level. When deploying containers using Fargate, there's a number of configuration options that one can choose. And as an example, extending your ephemeral storage is now one of them. As container adoption has grown, so have the use cases. We've essentially gone beyond the case of, I just have a very simple, small microservice. And because of the, the, the portability and the speed uh, that you can go to market with containers, we've seen the use cases evolve. And some of these use cases today involve working with large data sets and whether that's pulling data from S3 or just pulling down large data files and processing them in the containers, uh, running machine learning inference, or just simply having a need to have a large, um, larger disk space uh, at the container level uh, due to whatever internal uh, applications uh, you're running. So to support these use cases, we announced the ability to um, increase the ephemeral storage space for Fargate tasks running on Amazon ECS up to 200 gigabytes. So this enables customers that need more space to expand their storage beyond the default, which was, um, which is 20 gigabytes. So with that said, let's actually walk through uh, a deployment. We'll set the storage size to 200 gigabytes, and then we'll exec into the container to see, hey, here's our storage. So let's get right into it. And to start, I just wanna share this blog as I go through the demo, everything you see here on um, in the blog is what I'll be doing live uh, in, in the demo here. And this blog can be accessed at this URL on the screen. So as you can see, I have a Docker file up uh, here on the uh, in my IDE, and it's very simple and straightforward. I simply am running a sleep. And the idea being, I wanna be able to exec in here and I wanna have plenty of time to do it so we can explore in the container. I also have a manifest which uh, defines my service and how I wanna deploy my service. And if you haven't noticed, I'm using the AWS Copilot CLI to deploy um, my containers to AWS Fargate. Now, I already have my application and my environment um, defined and deployed with AWS Copilot and I've initialized my service. So the next step is to take my Docker uh, file, build a Docker image, and then deploy that image as a task through a task definition um, to an ECS service uh, using Fargate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a Copilot service deploy. And this is going to do all of those things that I just mentioned. And as it starts to build the image and then deploy this image to ECS, I'd like to just show um, the manifest file and specifically how I define my ephemeral storage in my Fargate task. You can see here, it's as simple as uh, setting the storage uh, parameter uh, to ephemeral and then the size in Gibby bytes uh, that I want uh, in my Fargate task. So I've decided to set it to the max available size uh, as of today, which is 200. And we're gonna wait about a minute or two as our service uh, gets up and running. And then we'll come back and we'll actually exec into the container and see what it looks like in real time. Okay, so as you can see, our deployment is done. We have one task running, and we can check this by simply running a copilot service status. 
And we can see we have our one task running and it's been running for 33 seconds. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a copilot service exec, which is using ECS exec. And now we have established a shell into our container. So what I'm gonna do is simply run a DF minus H and you can see I have 222 gigabytes um, as my root uh, storage. So we defined 200 gigabytes. We have 222 gigabytes available to my, uh, to my Fargate task. And you can see I'm using 10 uh, gigabytes and I have 203 available to me. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and one thing I'd like to do before we end the demo is let you know that Copilot is not the only way that you can take advantage of this functionality. You can also set your um, uh, you can set your ephemeral storage size for your in your task definitions using AWS CloudFormation, which Copilot behind the scenes that's how it's deploying all of our uh, environment. So if we look for ephemeral storage, you can see here I did a Copilot service package, which gives me the CloudFormation template that it used to deploy this service. And you can see here in my task definition, under the properties, I'm simply setting my ephemeral storage size in Gibby bytes to 200. So you could do this via the AWS CLI, CloudFormation, um, uh, as well as the AWS Copilot CLI like I did. So that's it for this demo. Thanks so much. And again, if you would like to read more of this and uh, follow along in written form, the blog uh, has all of this. Uh, detailed as well. Thanks so much.